No matter who you are, no matter what your background is, this journey applies to you. I want you to take a moment and think about an entrepreneur or content creator who's monetizing their passion successfully, like Dan Co, Sean Kennel, Alex Ramosi, Amy Porterfield, Vanessa Lau. There is a version for each of those people where they are completely other than who they are right now. They have no knowledge, they have no expertise, and they have no money in the particular field or market that they're in right now. There was a time when Sean Cannell didn't even have a YouTube channel. There was a time when Dave Ramsey was broke and in debt. There was a time when Alex Ramosi was still living at home with his parents and was dealing with his father and those challenges. It's so easy for us to look at people who found success and to think that somehow they're special. But it just may be the case that the only difference between them and you is time. They started seven, eight years ago building what they have now. And you're still at zero comparing yourself to where they are. And the only difference between you two is that you haven't started. Because starting is all about that crucial first step. Whether you're a baby and it's your first step that you take, or whether you're learning a new skill and you take the first step of actually signing up for classes, there's always a first step on the journey. They didn't wait for the perfect moment. They didn't wait until they learned everything that they could possibly learn. They took the first step. They started where they were and they started with what they had and they continued building day by day. And as you build day by day, you're going to notice that you start building up momentum. Momentum is a very powerful force because it gives you confidence. It lets you know that it's possible. It lets you know that something that you once thought was undoable is now doable. I remember when I first started my YouTube channel and I was uploading video after video after video getting zero views and then suddenly I started getting a handful of views and then finally I had a video that got over 100 views and I was so happy just to have a video with over 100 views and at that moment I realized man I could really do this if I just get better at my videos and if I just keep uploading and so now three years later I've accumulated over 1.6 million views on YouTube alone because I kept going and I kept getting better at my craft and the only difference between the version of who I am now as a YouTuber and that version of me was actually recording and posting the first video because you have to start the journey before there is a journey but once you start you are immediately on a journey and a journey is just that it's an experience over time you're traveling you're moving from one place to another if you don't do anything with it you're still at zero and there's nothing wrong with being prepared for the journey in front of you but you have to acknowledge that as long as you're preparing you're not actually on the journey before you start you're at a certain position in life. There is a version of you. And I don't know what that version is, but one thing you need to understand is that as soon as you start, you've immediately changed the version of who you are forever, as long as you continue. If you start and you continue doing the things that need to be done and you stay focused and motivated and you keep doing the hard work, you will never be that version of the person you were before you started ever again. If that version of you was a negative, broke, skeptic, disbelieving person who thought that the only way to get ahead in life was to work and slave away on somebody's job and hope that one day they will give you more of their money, then you will never be that person again after you start if you continue on the journey because you're going to change incrementally over time as your skill set improves, as your mindset improves, as your overall quality of life improves. Now, does this mean that you're going to be a millionaire? Not necessarily. Does this mean that you won't ever have a job again? Not necessarily, but it does mean that you're going to be a better person. It does mean that you're going to be a different, higher quality version of your own self because as soon as you start, you immediately begin to add value and experience to who you are. And that separates you apart from zero. Zero is a state of nothing. It's absolute emptiness. It's a void. Everybody starts there. Everybody has a moment when they knew absolutely nothing about business. They didn't even have a desire to start a business. Everybody has a moment when they were completely ignorant about the way money works. 
everyone. Some people stay there their whole lives. But regardless of what your situation is, zero is a fresh start. You don't have any of the baggage that anyone else has. You get to learn everything new. You get to experience all of this for the first time as long as you start. And that's the journey. There's so much infinite potential that's unrealized at zero because people just will not start. They have a dream. They have an idea. They know they can do something. They feel very confident that they can do something, but they won't start to save their lives. And I just want to motivate you to start because the most successful people you've seen, the only difference between them and you, I'm going to say it again, is that they started and you didn't. If you do a quick Google search, you'll find out that Apple was started in the garage. I believe Google was also started in the garage. And look at the size of those companies now. Imagine if they didn't swing open the garage doors, set up the computers and get to work. We wouldn't have these multi-billion trillion dollar companies. But here we are because people decided to start with what they had with where they were. And you might be thinking, well, I only have a couple of dollars to my name. I don't have a fancy setup. My podcast background doesn't look like this person's. I, I can't do a podcast show like Pat Flynn. You don't have to do a podcast show like Pat Flynn. Your show doesn't have to look like anybody else's. You just need to start with what you have, where you are, and keep being consistent and showing up generously for a very long period of time for your audience. Consistently, the more work you put in, the more experience, the more XP points you pick up, the better you become. And the better you become, the better you're going to get at actually reaching your goals for doing it in the first place. The better you're going to become at growing your business, the better you're going to become at servicing your customers and clients. But you have to start. So don't think and don't entertain the thoughts that zero is a disadvantage. It's an opportunity because just like the entrepreneurs I asked you to think about earlier, you could turn zero into success through persistence and action. And as you listen to these insights and strategies, you might be thinking, this sounds great, but where do I even start? And that's exactly why I created the Creator Growth Sprint. It's a focused, actionable program designed to help you get crystal clear on your content and your purpose for creating. Whether you're struggling with content ideas or need direction on how to position yourself online, the Creator Growth Sprint can provide the clarity and the momentum you need to move forward with confidence. Just click the link in the description to learn more about it. You might as well start with your idea. You might as well launch a new business because you're going to start doing something anyway. Everyone starts. If you don't start the idea, if you don't start the business that you've been thinking about, then you're immediately choosing not to start the idea, not to start the business, not to launch the new product, not to try your hand at success. You're immediately choosing not to do those things. And that's a start in and of itself. You've chosen to start a life without your dream ever coming true. You've chosen to start a life where you never tested your idea. You've chosen to start a life where you never launched that business idea. You've chosen to start a life that you really don't want deep down inside. And that's the problem with not starting. It's so important that we get over the perfectionism that paralyzes us so much. We want to make sure that we have everything just in place. But none of us is perfect. We all make mistakes. Nothing is perfect out of the box. And that's okay. But if your dream is to launch and start a business, the only way you're going to build a business that you're proud of and that makes you the level of income that you're expecting from it is to actually get out in the market and start that business. And know that in the beginning, there are going to be small beginnings. And that in order for you to grow to the size you want to become, you have to spend time running the business, building the business, and that it's not going to happen overnight, no matter what the $10,000 a month gurus tell you. And so you might be thinking, well, Corey, you don't understand my situation. My situation is different because this is the business idea I have that I want to do, but you don't understand. I'm really not that versed in this market. And so there is a lot of learning I have to do. Okay. That may be true. Maybe you're also thinking, well, Corey, yeah, this is true, but you know, I still need this to get started up. I need this equipment. I need this to print shirts. I need this. I need that. And I don't have all the resources I need. That may be true. But at the same time that those things are true, there are other things that are equally true. 
For instance, maybe you don't have the equipment or the resources you need to actually get started with the business, but you can start doing the things that will help you get those resources. You can start a separate banking account or separate savings account where you automatically gun assure your check and send maybe 20% over there or whatever you can stand outside of your living expenses to save up for those resources. You can start, you can start the business and start learning. Let's say you're starting a digital marketing agency because you have a little bit of marketing experience, but you want to transfer that over to the digital world. You can start the agency and start learning how to do Facebook ads at the same time start learning google ads at the same time google and facebook have free courses that you can take over a weekend and with your knowledge from the marketing world you'll be up to speed to a certain degree and you can start building out and perfecting your knowledge along the way but you gotta start and in case you didn't know there's one thing more than anything else i want you to do after listening to this episode is i want you to actually go out and start with that idea I don't care what it is. I want you to actually launch it. I want you to go take action, start the business. Don't be afraid because even if you start the business and even if it's not successful, remember I told you, as soon as you start, you will never be that version of yourself ever again. You will always and forever be a higher quality version of yourself, not of someone else, of yourself. You're going to be a better overall you because the difference between starting at zero and achieving success lies in your transformation and the transformation begins in the mind. If we change our ideas, we change our actions. If we change our actions, we change our habits and our character. If we change our character, we change our destinies. If an entrepreneur can shift their mindset from I'm just getting by to I'm building something meaningful that's going to impact lives and change the trajectory of their lives, they will often find out that that was the very key to unlocking their success because their mindset had already predetermined how far they can go. If your mindset is, well, I'm just getting by or I just want to make enough to get by, then that's what you're going to create. It's going to permeate everything that you touch, everything that you speak, and it's not going to speak the success that you wanted to speak. But if your mindset is, I'm building something meaningful, then you'll realize those are two different people, two different mindsets, two different skill sets, and two different levels of capabilities. And so if you're listening and you're starting to think, I want to build something meaningful. The idea I have in my heart is something I know will help people. Then it's so crucial that you take action as soon as possible. And what I can tell you from experience is that starting is the most difficult thing to do. You think that building the business, you think that growing your YouTube channel, you think growing the podcast is going to be so difficult, but it's not starting just turning the car on it's going to take the most energy and resources available that you have because when you first start the car it's going to require a significant amount of fuel to actually get started but once it's started there are systems in place that regulate fuel intake and that keep everything running smoothly so that you don't have those big bursts of energy necessary to actually keep going and that's the beauty of getting started because from that point you just make sure you remain consistent as long as you're consistent, well, I'm going to upload one podcast episode every week, or I'm going to do one YouTube video every week, or I'm going to post this many times every week on Instagram to grow my business. It doesn't matter. It's regulated and you can maintain it over time and travel safely without burning through your resources. And while you're doing this, you know what's happening? You're building up a thing called momentum because you're moving, you're traveling, you're looking at your Instagram account and it's growing. You're looking at your bank account and it's growing. You're getting customers, you're getting clients, you're meeting people, you're getting feedback, you're listening to feedback, you're improving your product. And all of a sudden you realize that this idea actually exists and thrives in the real world and people also believe in it. They believe in it to the degree that they will exchange money for me for access to this idea, to receive this product, or to experience this experience that I've put together. But you will never know any of those things unless you actually get started. You have to actually get out in the field and start doing the work, getting your hands dirty, sweating, bleeding, 
doing what you got to do, staying up all night, waking up tired, getting back to work so that you can realize that this thing is real, that this is something that you can actually achieve when you make up your mind to actually get started and it changes your actions and you actually start doing the things necessary to get started. What's going to happen is that you're going to start developing small habits. You're going to start creating crafts and then posting about them on your Instagram page or on your Instagram story. And you're going to do this for a couple of days in a row. And you're probably not going to get any views at all. But guess what? You're going to build up a habit. And over time, this habit is going to form your character as a business person. And you're going to become someone who shows up consistently and generously for a very long period of time for a very special group of people because people are eventually going to find you. The only difference between them finding you and finding someone else is that you stay in the market. You don't quit. After you start, you don't give up. You have to give yourself enough time to know whether this is even something worth pursuing. But too many people, they think they start, they don't see results after 30 days and they quit. It's like they're rushing for that moment of success where they earn six figures every month and they own this yacht and this big house and all their problems are solved by money. Well, newsflash, that doesn't happen overnight. And anybody telling you that it happens overnight is scamming you. After everyone saw how Avengers was so popular and made so much money, you've seen so many people come along and make movies where they introduce all of these characters like the Eternals and even the Justice League. They pack all of these characters into the film and then they try to create an Avengers moment right from the beginning. Well, guess what? Avengers was successful because we had Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3. And if you're not into comics, please forgive me for using this as an example. Not only did we have the Iron Man series, but but we also had Captain America 1, Captain America Winter Soldier. We had Avengers Civil War, which is kind of like, I guess, Cap uh, Captain America 3, in my opinion. We had Thor, but I believe I think we had two Thors before the first Avengers movie. We had so many different standalone films from the heroes that when they came together for a single film, there was so much equity built up behind them. And that's what you need if you want your moment where you finally reach the level of income that you're looking to reach. You have to have patience and be willing to put in the work. You have to be willing to film your single series of Iron Man movies and then turn around and do a series of another film and then turn around and do a series of another film. And these can correlate to different experiences that you have to learn in business. Maybe there's a season of your business where you focus on really making your product really well. And there's a season of your business where you're focused on rewriting and crafting and communicating your offer to the market so that people understand exactly what it is you do. And finally, there is a season where you learn how to sell in a way that makes people want to buy. Those are all three different seasons, but they come together to create this moment for you where you finally have everything that you dreamed of. And most people don't realize this because every day they have someone on social media telling them this is how you do it. They have people buying into all of these shortcuts when in reality, there are no shortcuts. If you can exercise patience and go through the different seasons that you need to go through to actually get to your final moment, then you can have the life that you've always wanted.